Welcome friends, myself Shaptapurni from Biolive. Hope all of you are doing very well. Today we are going to discuss about part 3 of the chapter Cell and Cell Division. Uh, today we will discuss the previous year's question from 2015. We have already discussed its previous parts, questions from 2016 to 2020. The links of those videos are given in the description box below and you may also find the links in the uh, i button above. So without further delay, let's begin and before starting, I would like to request you to please like, share and subscribe to my channel by pressing the bell button given below uh, and if you like my content, don't forget to like it okay, and share it among your friends. And if you have any doubts regarding biology or this chapter, you may leave a comment below or you may directly contact me through my Facebook page Biolive Jufilic, my Facebook group Biolive Cell or, my, or in my uh, Instagram profile Shaptapurni Biolive. So, okay, without further delay, let's begin. The first question asks, which of the following structures is not found in the prokaryotic cells? The options are plasma membrane, nuclear envelope, ribosome or mesosome. The correct answer would be option B, nuclear envelope. We know that in case of prokaryotic cells, there is no definite nucleus. Okay, There is a nucleus-like structure, a double-stranded DNA, obviously uh, double-stranded DNA, but that is, no, that is called known as nucleoid. That has no envelope around it. So, the prokaryotes have no nuclear envelope. Now the next question, which of the following are not membrane bound? See the options are mesosomes, vacuoles, ribosomes and lysosomes. It is a very easy question. Ribosome has no membrane. Okay, so the correct answer would be option C. Coming to the next question, cellular organelles with membranes are Lysosome, Golgi apparatus, mitochondria. See, in other, all other options, you can find ribosome, ribosome, ribosome. And we have already discussed that ribosome don't have any kind of membrane. So, the correct answer would be option A, lysosome, Golgi apparatus and mitochondria. Coming to the next question, cell wall is absent in nostoc, aspergillus, funaria or mycoplasma. See, it is also a very common question. Mycoplasma would be the correct answer. In case of mycoplasma, there is no cell wall. Okay. It is a bacteria without cell wall. So, the correct answer would be option D. Now, coming to the question number 47. Which of the following biomolecules does have a phosphodiester bond? We know that Phosphodiester bond is found in our DNA or RNA. Okay, it is formed between the uh, third carbon of the uh, ribose sugar or deoxyribose sugar with the uh, phosphate group. Okay, so it is very easy. The phosphodiester bond is found in nucleic acids in a nucleotide, and in fatty acid in a diglyceride, we know that. Ester bond is found in monosaccharides in a polysaccharide. Which bond is found? Glycosidic bond is found. And in amino acids in a polypeptide, a peptide bond is found. Now the next question is, a protoplast is a cell. Protoplast means a cell without its cell wall. So the correct answer would be option A. Very easy and very informative kind of questions these are. Okay, you don't need to have a very... Um, conceptual uh, base for this you just need to know the things okay these are all information based questions now coming to the next question the function of the gap junction is to stop st substances from leaking across a tissue performing cementing to keep neighboring cells together see option a and b these are not the correct answer because uh, to cementing neighboring cells together or to stop leaking of substances, 
these are the functions of tight junctions okay but in case of gap junctions we can find uh, connections which are tube like uh, structures of uh, proteins connexin proteins connexin monomers uh, aggregate to form connection which are tube like structures through which small molecules ions can pass from one uh, cell to another cell so obviously these two are not the correct answer now coming to the third option facilitate communication between adjoining cells by connecting the cytoplasm for rapid transfer of ions small molecules and some large molecules yes this is the correct correct answer the gap junction facilitates communication between ad adjoining cells and helps in uh, transport of transfer of small ions small molecules and large molecules okay now coming to the next question arrange the following events of meiosis in correct sequence see here what happens in in the uh, given four options first synapsis happens okay first synapsis happens then what happens then crossing over occurs then after crossing over terminalization of chiasma occurs and then disappearance of nucleolus so the correct answer would be option b a c d okay so c let's see where b a c d we can found in which option in option 3 we, we can found uh, b a c d in option 3 we can find b a c d so the correct answer is option 3 now coming to the next question match the column 1 and column 2 okay c thylakoids what are thylakoids thylakoids are flat membranous sacs in the stroma okay thylakoids are flat membranous sacs in the stroma so a will tie with option 3 now coming to christy where do we find christy christy are found in mitochondria so christy are the infoldings of mitochondria okay so b will match with option 4 cisterny where do we find cisterny? We find cisterny in Golgi apparatus and our endoplasmic reticulum. So here see disc shaped sacs in Golgi apparatus. So C will match with option A. Now chromatin. Chromatin is the condensed structure of DNA. So D will match with option 2. So let's see where all of these options are matched. In which option? A with 3. A with 3 okay in these three options then b with four b with four in option one and three then c with one c with one in option three so the correct answer would be option three three four one two okay now coming to the next question identify the correct order of organization of genetic material from largest to the smallest okay see here the four organizations are given chromosome genome nucleotide and gene we know that from these four organizations the largest one is our genome so let's see where genomes are given at the first in option c and d genome then after genome it would be chromosome in option c and d in both case chromosomes are given in the second position and then it would be gene and at last there would be nucleotide so genome chromosome gene and nucleotide so the option d is the correct answer because we know that our dna is made up of nucleotide and we can find gene in our dna okay so first nucleotide then gene then with many genes a chromosome is formed and with all the haploid sets of chromosome our genome is formed so the from largest to smallest it would be genome chromosome gene and nucleotide okay now coming to the 53rd question which one of the following is not applicable to rna option a says char gaps rule the correct answer is char gaps rule char gaps rule is only applicable for dna okay where we can find the similar number of a adenine with the thymine a equal to t and guanine with the cytosine g equal to c okay in a double stranded dna so that as the rna is not double stranded the char gaps rule uh, is not applicable in case of rna now coming to the next question balbiani rings are sites of balbiani rings are sites of rna and protein synthesis okay now coming to the 55th question satellite dna is important because 
satellite DNA shows high degree of polymorphism in population and also same degree of polymorphism in an individual okay which is heritable from parents to children so the satellite DNA shows high degree of polymorphism which which can be heritable from parents to children so the correct answer would be option C now coming to the next question uh, it is a little bit conceptual question in C archin DNA which is double stranded seven which is double stranded 17 percent of the bases were shown to be cytosine the percentage of other three bases expected to be present in this DNA are C as per the Chargaff's rule, we know that the number of adenine will be uh, equal to the number of thymine A equal to T and the G equal to C. Okay, as per Chargaff's rule, what do we know? A equal to T and G equal to C. Okay, so here what is given here? The percentage of cytosine is given 17% cytosine. So obviously, guanine would also be 17% so see here in option a and b you can find g is 17% and g is 17% okay so what is what would be the uh, total percentage of a and t 17% plus 17% percent equal to 34% so the total percentage of a and t would be 66% so a and T will um, individually consist of 33%. Okay, so the correct answer would be option B. Hope you have understood this. It is very easy. Okay, the percentage of A and B, A and T will be equal and G and C will be equal. As C is given 17%, so G will also be 17%. Uh, uh, addition of G and C will give you 34%. So the addition of A and T will be 66%. So A and T will each contain 33%. Okay. Now coming to the 57th question. Cytochromes are found in cytochromes are found in our mitochondria. And in which part of mitochondria? In the Christi of mitochondria. So the correct answer would be option B. Now coming to the next question. DNA is not present in ribosome, nucleus, mitochondria or chloroplast. See, nucleus, obviously in nucleus we can find DNA. In mitochondria and chloroplast, they are semi-autonomous organism and contain their own DNA. Okay, and can also do replication. But ribosome don't contain any kind of DNA. It contains rRNA but no DNA. So, the correct answer would be option A. Now, coming to the 59th question. Nuclear envelope is a derivative of nuclear envelope is a derivative of rough endoplasmic reticulum. Just remind the structure of a cell. You can easily visualize that the nuclear membrane is continuous with the RER membrane. Okay, so this gives you the answer. The nuclear envelope is a derivative of RER or rough endoplasmic reticulum. Now coming to the question number 60, match the correct options of column A and column B. C, synapse is a lines homologous chromosome in which phase of meiosis, in which phase of prophase 1, the zygotin phase. Okay, so the correct answer A will match with option 2. See here in 3 options, you can find A is matching with option 2. So let's see other options also. Okay. Synthesis of RNA and proteins. Synthesis of RNA and proteins occurs in G2 phase of the cell cycle. So B will match with option 3. See in here, uh, in option A, we can find D is matching with option 3. In option 3, we can also find B is matching with option 3. So still now we have not found the correct answer. Okay. Now coming to the third option, action of the enzyme recombinase. Recombinase causes recombination and which phase of the cell cycle recombination occurs during crossing over recombination occurs so in case of pachytin when the crossing over occurs the recombinase enzyme acts okay so, so the option c will match with option 5 see here in the option c or option 1 we can find that option c and fiber together so, from matching these three options, you can easily say that the correct answer is option 1. But let's see the option D also. Okay. Centromeres don't separate, but chromatids move towards the opposite folds. 
in case of anaphase 1 what happens the chromatids move towards the opposite for poles but their centromeres don't separate but in case of anaphase 2 the centromeres also separate so the option d will match with option 4 see in case of option 1 we can see that uh, option a is matching with 2 b's b is with 3 c is with 5 and d is with 4 okay so the correct answer is option 1 now coming to the 61st question the structure is formed by stacking of organized flattened membranes membranous sacs in the chloroplast are the the uh, flattened membranous sacs um, the flattened membranous sacs are thylakoids and when they are stacked the organization is known as grana okay so the correct answer would be grana option a now coming to the next question the chromosomes in which centromere is situated close to one end is known as acrocentric chromosome okay see if it is your chromosome then uh, the chromosome in which your uh, centromere is located to uh, locate is situated close to one end is known as acrocentric chromosome okay now coming to the next question which of the following is not an inclusion body found in prokaryotes see here the options are cyto uh, cyanophysian granule, glycogen granule, polysome and phosphate granule. The correct answer would be polysome. As we know that polysomes are the linear organizations of ribosomes. Okay, multiple ribosomes. So, those are not included in, a, in an inclusion body. Now, coming to the next question. It is a very, very important question. Okay, number 64th question is very, very important. Let's see what does it say. A somatic cell that has completed its S phase in its cell cycle as compared to gamete of the same species has. Let's see here. They have said about two cells, a somatic cells and a gamete. Somatic cells have diploid number of chromosomes. They are 2N. They have diploid number of chromosomes. Whereas gamete has haploid number of chromosomes. They are N. Okay. So, when the somatic cell completes its S phase, during S phase, what, what occurs? During S phase, DNA replication occurs. Okay. After DNA replication, the chromosome number is not changed, but the DNA content gets doubled. Okay. So, after S phase, the somatic cell remains its chromosome number 2N. That means twice the number of the gamete. Okay. So, See where the chromosome numbers are twice. In option B, we can see twice the number of chromosomes of gamete. And option D also says twice the number of chromosomes of gamete. Okay, in case of somatic cells. So, option B and D, uh, one could be the correct answer. Now, coming to the next part. Okay, so the chromosome number would be twice. Okay, but the DNA content in case of, gam in case of gamete, if the DNA content is 1, after uh, completing the S phase, the DNA content of somatic cell would be 4. Okay, why 4? Because see, in case of gamete, they are, they are haploid. They are chromosome, if their chromosome number is 1C, the somatic cell has originally, the uh, if their DNA content is 1C, the somatic cell has DNA content of 2C. And after S phase, after DNA replication, the uh, DNA content gets doubled and it becomes 4C. Okay, so the chromosome number is uh, remains same twice, okay, but the DNA content gets four times, okay. So the correct answer would be option B, twice the number of chromosomes N to 2N, but four times uh, the amount of DNA. If the gamete has 1C DNA, the somatic cell after completing S phase will have 4C DNA. I hope you have understood this question because it is very, very important. It is a kind of conceptual question. Okay. So, coming to the next question. Select the correct matching in the following pair. See, the option A says smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesis of lipids. Yes, in smooth endoplasmic reticulum, lipid gets synthesized. So, the correct answer is option A. Now the last but not, not the least, alleles are, alleles are different molecular forms of a gene. Okay, uh, 
we know that t capital t and small t those are alleles of each other Th those are present those are the same genes but have different molecular forms okay so the alleles are different molecular forms of a gene so the correct answer is option b so with this we end our today's question answer session here hope all of you have understood all of the questions i have discussed if you have any doubts don't forget to uh, comment below okay and if you like my content don't forget to like share and subscribe by pressing the bell button given below for the time being thanks for watching and happy learning